A series of deadly coordinated explosions rocked Brussels, Belgium today, shutting down air travel. We'll hear from a Kentucky man who was just blocks away when the terrorist attacks happened. I'm Mike Byer in Lexington, where police are actively searching for a suspect who robbed this marathon gas station this morning before sideswiping a police paddy wagon with a stolen vehicle. Today and tomorrow, no worries whatsoever. It's really on Thursday we're going to be focusing in on as we start to look for those storms to move on in. Are we expecting severe weather? I have your forecast coming up. This is WQYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News at Noon. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. Terrorists hit Brussels, Belgium this morning in coordinated attacks. At least 36 people are dead and more than 100 are injured after three explosions rocked the airport and a nearby train station. The attacks come just days after authorities arrested the prime suspect in the Paris terror attacks in a Brussels neighborhood. Tina Krauss has the latest. It's our top story at noon. Survivors ran for safety as smoke and chaos filled the airport terminal in Brussels. <laughs> Dozens are injured after two powerful explosions. One blast caved in a ceiling on stunned travelers and blew out the terminal's windows. CBS News has learned police found an unexploded device, possibly a suicide vest, and a Kalashnikov Russian assault rifle. This woman was with her daughter, who's now missing. Well, my husband called the American Embassy, and he, they're looking for her, too. Three missionaries from Utah were seriously injured in the airport blasts. Less than a half hour later, an explosion ripped through a subway station during the morning rush hour near the U.S. Embassy in Brussels. More than a dozen people were killed and more than 100 injured. Some passengers had to find their way out through dark tunnels. Mesdames et messieurs, Belgium's prime minister says what we feared has happened. President Obama called him from Cuba this morning. The thoughts and the prayers of the American people are with the people of Belgium, and we stand in solidarity with them. The attacks come just days after the arrest of Salah Abdeslam, the prime suspect in the Paris terror attacks last November. They were probably concerned that he was going to talk to authorities, and they moved this up. Police have now shut down Brussels' entire transport system, diverting all planes and trains away from the Belgian capital, and authorities are urging people to stay home. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. And a U.S. law enforcement official tells CBS News a State Department employee is still missing. And we're hearing from a Kentuckian who is currently living in Brussels. Corbin native Joby Bennett works just a couple of miles from the airport that was targeted during the attacks today. As WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain is at our live desk to explain now, we have reaction to those explosions that actually rocked his building. Michelle? Yeah, Joby Bennett is originally from Corbin, Kentucky, and now lives in Brussels with his wife and two children. Bennett says he was two miles away from the Brussels airport during the deadly explosions. But we heard and felt the explosions here in our building. Joby Bennett says he would rather not say which company, but that he works for an international organization just two miles from Brussels airport, one of the sites of today's terrorist attacks. We basically felt explosions here in the building. We knew they were explosions right away, but it was two separate explosions. Bennett says he no longer feels safe in Brussels. But when I leave work and I travel to and from to and from work from my house, et cetera, no, I don't. And I can tell you, like, it's very surreal to see pictures of the airport in that same area where I've been. I travel for it quite a bit, where I've been hundreds of times, let's say. And to see that same area, you know, in disarray, it's, um, it's very unsettling. Bennett says he moved to Brussels four years ago and says he and his wife are now considering moving back to the United States. It definitely, you know, has already started conversations, you know, between my wife and myself as far as, you know, do we start looking for something back in the U.S.? It's very, very scary to think about. Who knows what's going to happen in the future as far as, you know, the radicals here in Brussels because there are so many of them. Now, Bennett says the organization he works for had multiple people traveling at the time of the attacks, and all of their flights were diverted. All flights at the Brussels airport have been canceled for the remainder of the day. At the live desk, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT.
Michelle, thank you very much. And U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky issued a statement this morning on the attacks in Brussels. The Kentucky Republican said, quote, Americans are saddened and horrified by the attacks in Brussels. We send our collective condolences to the victims and their families, and we are thinking of the Belgian people in this dark hour. Now, you can keep track of the latest developments out of Brussels at WKYT.com. And changing base a little here, the spring feel is back in the air today with temperatures getting back up into the mid-60s with sunny skies. So when can we expect to see rain back in the forecast? WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris is live in our first alert weather center now with a look ahead. Yeah, and the look ahead is a really good look. The next 24 hours, 48 hours, just fine. And we look outside at 58 degrees. And one thing you cannot see, you see the temperature, you see the sky condition. What you can't see, the wind blowing through. And it actually feels really nice. We're at 20 to 30 miles per hour at this very moment. Some gusts a little bit higher than that. We have heard of a gust or seen that out at the uh, Mezzanet site there in Harrodsburg. Mercer County at 32 miles per hour. That's the strongest so far, but it'll start getting going uh, here within the next couple of hours. Adair County in Columbia, we're at 27 miles per hour. So not just nice temperatures, not just a good look. But also a nice feel with those winds gusty out of the south and southwest. 66 by the rest of the afternoon. So we have another 10 degrees to go. Off into the evening, beautiful evening for a walk around the neighborhood or heading out to eat. And tomorrow we do it all over again. But when does the rain arrive? Because it does arrive after that. I'll show you how soon coming up in a few minutes. All right, Micah, thank you. The search continues this midday for one of the suspects involved in an early morning robbery in Lexington. Police say the men held up the Marathon Station on Newtown Pike just after 4 o'clock. The suspect's Jeep later crashed into a paddy wagon at a different gas station on Georgetown Street. One of the men was arrested a short time later, but the other is still on the run. WKYT's Mike Byer has the latest on the search in this Crime Tracker report. Lexington police are actively searching for an armed suspect who robbed this Marathon gas station early this morning. The robbery happened around 4 a.m. Police say this is when an armed suspect walked into the Marathon on Newtown Pike demanding cash. As you can see in the surveillance video, the clerk hands over the money and the suspect gets away. Police say the suspect then got into a red Jeep Wrangler driven by another man. Police were able to locate the two men at the Thornton's gas station on Georgetown Road. Officers tell us they tried to pull the Jeep over, but the suspects swiped a police paddy wagon and got away a second time. Police caught up with the suspects on Whitney Avenue. Once at this location, officers say the two men got out of the vehicle and took off on foot. Police were able to detain one of the suspects one street over on Douglas Avenue, but were not able to catch the other man. He's described as a black man around 5'6 and weighs 140 pounds. He was wearing a dark hoodie with black pants and is armed with a handgun. Meanwhile, the gas station manager says her clerk handled the situation very well. He kept his calm. Um, it's never easy when a gun is being pointed at you to think clearly, but the guy was in and out in what seemed like less than a minute. He pulled the drawer out, and the guy only ended up getting a handful of ones and some fives. Now, the manager from the gas station tells me they have only had two armed robberies within the past decade, and both of them have happened within the past six months. In Lexington, Mike Byer, WKYT. Now, police say they haven't charged the man who was detained. They ask anyone with information about the armed suspect to contact the department. Friends and family are honoring the memory of a Transylvania University student killed in a fall at Raven Run over the weekend. 22 year old Katie Stewart, who's a native of Kenton County in northern Kentucky, fell from an overlook at the Lexington Park Saturday. Her visitation is from 3.30 to 7 o'clock tonight at St. Agnes Church in Fort Wright. That will be immediately followed by her funeral, also at the church. A Lexington restaurant is joining in the effort to help a firefighter who's battling cancer. Matt Logsdon was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer earlier this year. Today, the Papa John's restaurant on Avenue of Champions near the UK campus is donating 25% of its sales to the Matt Logsdon Cancer Fund. Papa John's is one of many businesses and other fire departments across the state that have held fundraisers for Logsdon in recent weeks. A special election is being held in a southern Kentucky county today to 
decide whether to legalize alcohol sales. Right now, Adair County is dry, meaning alcohol sales are not permitted in stores or restaurants. The polls there are open until 6 o'clock this evening, local time. Earlier this month, voters rejected a similar measure in McCrary County. Five new cheetah cubs are settling in. They're cute up at the Cincinnati Zoo for now while they're small. <laughs> but they were delivered via a rare C-section. And they will grow up. <laughs> but once the births were deemed high risk, veterinarians had to step in to perform the emergency procedure to protect both the premature cubs and the mom. Now, the three boy cubs and two girl cubs are getting round-the-clock care and bottle feeding. And so far, everyone's doing well. It looks like it. Well, President Barack Obama's historic trip to Cuba wraps up today with a series of events this afternoon. We'll tell you what's on his agenda coming up on Kentucky's number one midday news. Also ahead, pop star Katy Perry will honor the queen of country music, Dolly Parton, at next month's Academy of Country Music Awards. We'll have more on their collaboration next on WKYT. You know, Kentucky weather is what it is. For those of us who've lived here our entire lives, we've just accepted the fact that we're never going to be able to control it. I remember growing up in Sayersville and wondering, what is it about Kentucky that makes our weather so ridiculous? And that passion to understand it has led me to where I am today. While I still can't control it, I sure as heck really understand it. I'm WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey, and I stand for Kentucky. If you've been involved in an accident, it's so important that you hire your lawyer sooner rather than later. Things change. Witnesses' memories fade. Evidence disappears or is repaired. Time past is your enemy. For example, what color is my suit and tie? Am I wearing cufflinks and a handkerchief? Is Emma with me? Don't wait. Call today. Things change. Morgan & Morgan. For the people. Year. Our annual bracket buster event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, and we're slamming the competition. Get a new GMC Sierra for just $19,995. Save eight grand. Drive a new GMC Canyon, $299 a month. Save $5,100 on a new GMC Acadia. Or save over $11,000 on a new Sierra 4x4. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. Our annual bracket buster event is on at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where Sid says sell them. The accident wasn't that bad. This check will cover all the repairs. Plus, you don't have a rental car agreement, but we're going to give you an allowance for getting back and forth to pick up your car. How's that sound? Oh, okay. All you need to do now is sign right here. So you can get on with your life. A smiling cheater is still a cheater. Come on now. You know what to do. Call 800-800-4600. Make time this spring to escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, where the only thing you'll want to do is have fun in the sun. Let the sound of the ocean's tide take all your cares away and leave you refreshed to experience something new. It's your moment to let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Let go and unwind on Myrtle Beach time. Welcome back to WKYT News at Noon. President Obama is getting back on schedule after delivering remarks about the terror attacks in Belgium on this his third and final day of a historic visit to Cuba. The president gave a speech at a theater in Havana, which was by Cuban leader Raul Castro today. The afternoon is going to be when he will be addressing the Cuban people and sit down with some dissidents. Later today, President Obama will be attending a baseball game between Cuba's national National team and the Tampa Bay Rays. The president is scheduled to arrive in Buenos Aires, Argentina, just before midnight tonight. The world's largest cruise company is going to Cuba. Carnival has gotten approval to start running cultural exchange trips to the island starting in May, meaning passengers must spend eight hours a day involved in some type of cultural experience. That's the law for now. A seven-day trip will leave from Miami and visit ports in Havana and Santiago. It will cost $1,800 per person. 
Out west, voters in Idaho, Arizona, and Utah are heading to the polls today to decide who should be their party's presidential nominees. More than 200 delegates are up for grabs. All of the candidates, except Bernie Sanders, addressed the pro-Israel APAC, APAC that is in Washington yesterday. Sanders skipped the conference and campaigned out west where he needs to pull off a win today. Bill Cosby's legal team has been dealt a blow in the defamation case filed against the embattled comedian. A federal judge has ruled attorneys for the seven women who brought the lawsuit can examine the case file involving a woman who says Cosby sexually assaulted her more than a decade ago. Cosby's attorneys had tried to block access to documents from former Temple University employee Andrea Constad, who claims Cosby drugged and molested her at his Philadelphia home in 2004. She reached a settlement with Cosby in a civil case, but he's now facing criminal charges. He's pleaded not guilty. A pop superstar Katy Perry is going country with a little help from the legendary Dolly Parton. The superstars will performed together for the first time at the Academy of Country Music Awards, singing two Dolly classics, Jolene and Coat of Many Colors. Dolly will also receive the Tex Ritter Award for her TV movie, Coat of Many Colors, about her childhood. Each year, the award is given to a film that prominently features country music. The 51st Academy of Country Music Awards will air live Sunday, April 3rd, right here on WKYT. A red flag warning is in effect until this evening for several central and eastern Kentucky counties. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 1045 The Cat. People know Window World as home of the original 189 window. But that's just the beginning. We install siding too. Our siding comes with energy efficient, form fitted foam. Guaranteed for life. Window World, simply the best siding for less. <gasps> you need a better car. It's my credit. Don't worry, because when, when you, you need, need to make a move, move drive diamond brooms. Who were you guys always this cool? Mm. Hey. Oh, hi. Yeah, totally. Save yourself. Get approved at drive time first. Call, click, or visit. Everybody in the pool. A new swimming pool in your backyard this summer means double the fun for your family. What better way to keep the kids entertained? Think you can't afford it? Then think again. The big 15 by 24 Econoline pool from Blue World Pools is only $3.99. Yes, $3.99, and that super low price includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool vacuum. That's right, all that fun, only $3.99. But that's not all. That price even includes installation on your ready site. What a deal! You may choose to step up to the next level with our midline pool or really turn your backyard into a summer party paradise with the classic pool from Blue World Pools. Our top of the line classic is famous for its low maintenance and high style beauty. Nothing brings the family together like a backyard pool. The summer barbecues, the parties, or just hanging out and cooling off on yet another sweltering summer day. Beat that heat! Call Blue World Pools now and get your party started. Hi, checking out the RAV4? Yep, looking for something fun. Well, with available Sport Tune suspension, you can turn any trip into an awesome adventure. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Errands. Aren't they the best? It's the final days of Toyota's One for Everyone sales event. Get 0.9% financing on the adventurous 2016 RAV4. Or lease one now for just $199 a month. Have fun running those errands. Toyota, let's go places. At Window World, you get the best price right up front. Our windows feature the Good Housekeeping Seal. And come with a lifetime limited warranty. Act now and get a house full of windows for as low as $79 a month installed. Window World, simply the best for less. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Now, your Zone by Zone forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. You know, you really got to remember where we started off early this morning. We started off in the 20s and 30s once again, and temperatures are already nudging close to that 60 degree reading, and we still have about four to five more hours to go. Live Sky came a lot of sunshine, and not only that, but those winds gusty out of the south. 
and southwest, and that's really helping us out as well. Current gusts right now anywhere from about 15 to about 20, 25 miles per hour. Now that goes really for I-75 and back toward the west. Those gusts will start to pick up as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon for everybody else. 56 degrees right now in Lexington. Another 10 degrees to go, and we will reach that right there in the mid 60s later on this afternoon. 55 now in Danville, 58 in Jackson. And remember, Monticello at 57 degrees, we finished off at 25 degrees, already 32 degrees higher than where we were early this morning. Carbon copies of each other today and tomorrow. And you'll have gusty winds, you'll have a lot of sunshine, a few more clouds tomorrow, but uh, nonetheless, we stay dry today and tomorrow. And also, those temperatures anywhere from 62 to about 70 degrees both today and tomorrow. Then we hit late in the work week. Thunderstorms there on Thursday. As of right now, we spoke about it about 50 times this morning. It's a low and severe weather risk, and we're going to hold on to that throughout the rest of the day today that we're talking about for Thursday. And we'll see how the models come through uh, during the nighttime hours and into tomorrow morning, see if it gets a little better handle on this. But as of right now, low and severe weather risk, that means an isolated shot here or there. For the most part, it's just going to be heavy downpours and some lightning as these storms roll on through. On Friday, front pushes through. It's much cooler, right around 50 degrees. And then what do you think happens? You think it stays there? Absolutely not. It jumps right back up. This is a roller coaster ride type of situation, uh, type of setup really, that we're going to have warm and dry on Saturday, but the rain does move in on Sunday, which is Easter. Trying to make any plans, just know Saturday is going to be the better day in the forecast than Sunday to make those Easter egg hunts or heading out and about, whatever it may be. But really, all eyes still on Thursday for those storms to roll on through. As of right now, I don't see widespread severe weather with this. Right. Going to watch this this afternoon. Uh, that, what, nice warm wind. It it's feels good. Really nice. And then we yeah, have these the sunshine is what looks so nice yeah. right now. And then we uh, look forward to Mike Linden's report about the concerns that that right. also Fire brings. So, right. There you go. Best of times and worst of times. Double edged sword. <laughs> We're back on WKYT in a moment. The Tigers are a win away from a championship. And Matthew Mitchell's women can see a path to the final four. Dave Baker's next with sports. Checking stocks as we head into afternoon trading. The major market indicators are mixed. The NASDAQ is up a bit. CBS tonight. It's She Said, She Said. She shot her husband. She shot my husband. This is going to be a messy one. But what she says. Dad, I've been looking all over for you. Is the biggest mystery of all. I could have a daughter. Why don't you go find her? We need your help. We? New NCIS. Then a vicious attack is just the beginning. You went after my daughter. This is war. New NCIS New Orleans after NCIS tonight. We're walking the streets delivering a simple message. Where there's smoke, there could be fire. This is the start of a five-year program with our partner, Kentucky Power, to install smoke detectors in local neighborhoods. The smoke alarms are free. The only thing we ask is they let us show them how to use them. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside, how early they got up that morning, or how far they've walked, they know that they've possibly saved a life. We may be a power company, but the true power in our communities comes from our people. Hi, I'm Diana with Kevin's Carpets. We understand how hard it is to buy floors. That's why you need to come to the flooring experts and let Chad, Rebecca, and I help you with your flooring needs. Kevin's Carpets in Lexington and Georgetown. Why you'd be crazy to buy flooring anyplace else. We know they're a great value, but to see if Malto Meal cereal tastes as good as they claim, we have assembled a panel of experts. Spoons are up. They are mid-crunch and full thumbs. Malto Meal cereal, thumbs up on great taste. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Ever take a whiff of a smoker's hair? You're smelling contamination that remains after the cigarette is out. Smokers actually emit very harmful toxins from clothing, hair, and skin, even if they no longer smell like it. Think about that and pay attention to everyone who picks up your child. Hi, I'm Brian, and I buy houses in the Lexington area. No more stress. I can buy your house as is, and we'll close professionally with a Lexington attorney. You can get all cash, immediate debt relief, and peace of mind. Call me at 859-278-HELP or go to 278-HELP.com. 
Every day at Cracker Barrel Old Country Store, we serve fresh, made-from-scratch cooking. Our famous breakfast, day or night. And with meals starting at $5.99, our prices are downright comfortable. So stop on by. You're always welcome. EKU Center for the Arts presents opera star Kathleen Battle performing Underground Railroad, A Spiritual Journey, April 16th. Featuring renowned pianist Joel Martin and the American Spiritual Ensemble. For tickets, visit ekucenter.com. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. Every college team dreams of making it to the Sweet 16, but for Kentucky, knocking off Oklahoma at home last night would mean the Cats would not only have a chance to win their way to the Final Four next weekend, but they could do it at Rupp Arena. Last night, the Coliseum taking on Oklahoma early on, freshman Macy Morris. Man, what a find she has been. Three for three from distance to start things out. Kentucky by eight at the half. How about Oklahoma pulling within two in the third? Then Taylor Murray spots up, hits the jumper, extends the lead back to four. Late in the third, Michaela Epps gritting it out. Three from the corner. She finished with 13. And the Wildcats pull away late. How about Janae Thompson? Okay, back off. I'll go ahead and shoot. Three more. Three of her game eyes, 16. And Kentucky rolls. 79-58. The Cats will play seventh-seeded Washington, who upset second-seeded Maryland. They'll play Friday night, 7 o'clock at Rupp Arena. You know, you get some quiet moments throughout the day, and you, you think about the game, you try to keep your mind on the game, and, um, you know, the thought crosses your mind, you know, if, what if it doesn't go the right way, and, and it really it made me reflect on how hard this team worked. I had a lot of confidence that we would win, but uh, it just makes me so proud uh, of, of what they've done uh, up to this point. Morehead State looking to keep its postseason alive, hosting Duquesne and Johnson Arena. Eagles build an early lead. How about Brent Arrington knocking down the three? Morehead up 15-7, 3.5 seconds left and a half. Here comes Arrington again. He hit it from half court. Morehead with an eight-point lead at the break. Into the second half, the Eagles by five into the lane. Dewan Marrero. Morehead up 62-55. And then check out this feed from Xavier Moon to Lionel Gaines. That's a flush. Lead was nine. Morehead wins, and they'll take on Ohio University in Athens in one semifinal of the CBI tournament. That'll take place tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And speaking of Morehead State, former Eagle assistant and UK player Alan Edwards is the new head coach at Wyoming. Edwards, who played at UK from 1994 to 1998, has been an assistant under Larry Shiat for the last five seasons. The 64 year old Shiat resigned yesterday, and Edwards got the promotion. He has served as an assistant at Moorhead, Virginia Commonwealth, and Western Kentucky. And Georgetown College in Kansas City, they knock off Mid American Nazarene 90 to 83. The Tigers advance, and they will play for an NAIA championship. That'll take place later tonight. Guys, a lot more coming your way throughout the day. Look ahead to all this great college basketball that's happening and the U.K. women, just a couple of wins away from the Final Four. Coming up later today, but for now, uh, that's a look at sports on this Tuesday. All right, and that really is something with the, uh, the Kentucky women doing so well, you know? Great to cheer them on. Yeah. And there's more to come in our next half hour of WKYT News at Noon. A Central Kentucky man accused of passing funny money is now facing even more charges. Also, more than 30 people are dead and dozens injured after a series of coordinated blasts at the airport in a subway station in Brussels, Belgium. We'll have reaction from a Kentucky man who works in the area of the attacks. Tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $30 million. Tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot is $90 million.